Happy New Year! Oh wow, this is like way too late. <laughs> hey guys, it is Samantha and today I just wanted to just sit down and have a chat with you guys. 2017 was the worst year of my life. Well, one of the worst years of my life, at least. Just, yeah. It's one of the worst years of my life, so let me just sit down. Go sit down. Grab a cup of coffee, tea, whatever you drink. How do I even start this? So 2017, start of it, wasn't that bad at all. It's actually going pretty good, but things got progressively worse and worse and worse, basically. And yeah, so first off, school was getting a bit much, um, college, I should say. And it just got way too crazy for me. I wasn't used to it. I couldn't adjust to it. I was freaking out. I was having the same old thing that happened in primary school and high school. And I just seemed to like just lose a lot. And it was very emotional. Um, I was an emotional Wreck of a mess. I think everyone was in 2017, to be honest. Even if you had a good year, you had some emotional times that year. Because a lot of stuff happened. School was just so bad. And then second off, YouTube was horrible. Like, like not just for me, but for others. Like, and, like, I barely uploaded this. <laughs> well, last year, I should say. Yeah, last year. Last year, and it was just horrible. And I felt so bad, but it wasn't my fault because like I was having issues with this computer that I'm using right now and with like everything, like life just got in the way of me being able to upload content. I tried to make content and when I did, I didn't have time to edit it, make a thumbnail, upload it, yada, yada, yada. And then, yeah, it just got all too much. <sighs> and then like that was the, the same year my cat had to be put down and I've had her since I was like 11 or 12 so I've had her for quite a long time and that was just so freaking sad that was just the icing on the freaking cake it was like hey you had a horrible year all this bad stuff with your friends and stuff you know let's just add on to it by <laughs> having your cat have to be put down and you couldn't even be there for it because there was an event going on at the same time which sounds horrible but I had to go to it because it was important. Yeah I still miss her to this day even though it was quite a while ago but I always love and miss her Jasmine by the way if you don't know and it's just been just so horrible like mentally and emotionally especially it was terrible. I had a lot of mental breakdowns to be honest uh, that year and then like I had a lot of issues with my friends but I felt like I couldn't talk to them about it all that kind of stuff at the start of the year was kind of, kind of like great like I was hanging out with my friends quite frequently everything was going fine and then all of a sudden it just crashed down and then I ended up just having like so many breakdowns and so many times when I just wanted to quit everything and it was horrible. I know I keep repeating myself, but it's just it's just awful. And then the, and it wasn't only like for me; it was for like others I knew, and I felt hor horrible for them as well because because you know I don't want to go get, have them go through that crap either. It's just like wow, this year's been horrible. I mean, last year technically, yeah, whatever. And it was just like I felt stuck and I didn't know what to do. Thank God for 2018. Hasn't been the best year of my life, but it hasn't been the worst. It's been in the middle for me. It's kind of like a recovery year, to be honest. It was like 2016. 2016 was probably one of the better years like up there. I was improving on YouTube and all that. And I was like, that was my high, like the best part. That was like my high YouTube year, I think, in my, in my opinion it was. And like, things weren't that bad. Like, I was making new friends and all that. 2018, I'm making new friends as well. Um, yeah, I just, I just had such decent year then. And then 2017 came along and then just burnt it all to the ground. <laughs> so screw you 2017, screw you.
And yeah, 2016, yeah, there weren't some, there were some bad moments as well where like I had friendship issues and I had a lot of mental breakdowns as well. But it wasn't as bad as 2017 to be honest. Like, wow, that was like a roller coaster. Yeah, and then like a lot of stuff happened, like things like I wasn't at my old school. I'm at my, <laughs> I'm back at where I was before. Things have been much better. And yeah, I'm 18 now. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> and that, like the birthday itself was great. Like I had a birthday party, got to spend time with my family. It was great. And I was quite happy. And then afterwards it was big, ugh. Like, after, I didn't feel it was important. I don't know, it was weird. Like, I felt like complete crap after, like, a couple of days after. And I just didn't stop for quite a while. It was like, it was like 2017 all over again. I'm like, crap, no, I don't want to feel like this way again. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like I've been a roller coaster every freaking year. I've had, like, it's been a freaking roller coaster, Jesus. And, yeah, it's just crazy. But I've been going much better. If you're wondering, like mentally, physically, emotionally, I've been going great <laughs> compared to 2017. Damn, that was horrible. But yeah, I'm good. I'm 18. I had my first ever surgery. Wisdom tooth. Hurts. And I was awake for it all. And I had stitches. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't know, fun fact. Yeah, I haven't had a surgery until, like, the other day. <laughs> and, I, and like, I've never broken a freaking bone in my life or anything. It's just, like, either I was really lucky or I was just a coward. And I'm pretty sure it's I'm a coward. Like, sometimes I was lucky and I've had some close calls, honestly. But, you know, most of the time I'm just lucky and a chicken. And that's good. But it's just going to be a pain when I it's just gonna be a pain when I actually do break my bone for the first time it's gonna be really painful but physical pain I can handle as you can see I had my wisdom tooth out the other day I ended up talking um in a video I don't know if I really should be doing that <laughs> um emotionally and mentally like you could like hit me like physically and punch me in the freaking face I wouldn't care I wouldn't give a damn. I'll just forget about it. I'm mean, like, eh, whatever. But you, you, like, words hurt me more. I don't know why. It's so weird. I'm weird. <laughs> it's like you could punch me in the face. I'd be fine with it. Or you could just like go, like say like all these words like, oh, you're a little bubble. Not like YouTube comments, really. It's just in real life when people like say rude stuff. It's like Jesus Christ. And it's like, yeah, some people have been crying quite rude to me and I'm like don't test me because like when I'm angry and I really do get angry you know I'm a pretty calm chill person well when I get angry I get crazy yeah still 2017 was pretty bad and like everything freaking went wrong and hopefully 2018 things will be right that's creepy. I hope your 2017 or 2018 or whatever. Hope you're having a good year. I really do. I hope your 2017 was great. And nothing like mine, but you know. <laughs> this is just a dumb vlog. I never do vlogs because they're so awkward. so weird <laughs> I'm a weirdo I'm gonna stop that now and I'm probably gonna end this video here because I need to I don't know what I'm doing and I need to stop it right now so bye guys I love you all and I'll see you whenever bye bye